Hello friends, this is Odds, according to a White House press release, and today we're going to talk about the dredge, and more in particular about a really silly strategy that has no right to work, but that often does work with hilarious results. And it involves using Darkness Reveal. At the start of the match, the dredge has a bit of a cooldown, 12 seconds, where he cannot use his power to teleport. But as soon as this power is up, we're going to use this perk to open a locker and see which survivors are approaching other lockers around the map. And if we see one of them about to lock it, which slows us down later, we're actually going to teleport there right away. And if we do it right, we'll grab the survivor out of the locker and then immediately be able to hook them right away just a few seconds into the match. If you pull this off, this is huge. And there's actually an add-on that can help with that. The Automarian Writing reduces your cooldown from 8, sorry, from 12 to 8 seconds. And this actually affects uh, your cooldown at the start, which I didn't know. That's a viewer of mine that told me about this. So I was very excited to try this strategy again, which, uh, which we had already tried on stream a little bit with some funny results. And I actually made a build around it. Let me show you. So we're going to have the Automarian Writing with any other add-on, lavalier microphone, uh, boat keys, um, the Broken Doll, all of them are fine, honestly. And then we're going to pair Darkness of Eel with Devour Hope and Undying. Undying will protect our Devour Hope totem, and if we get a hook right away, we will be very, very close to having three tokens, at which point we can insta-down survivors. Uh, our fourth uh, perk here, it can be anything. Uh, you'll see me use Franklin's. Uh, to slap items uh, of survivors' hands. You'll see me use Pentimento to uh, have slowdown if they get your totems. Uh, Blood Favor would probably work pretty well. In my opinion, the meanest one you can bring is Haunted Ground. With Haunted Ground, you can have a very, very nasty um, uh, sequence of events where you get to instant survivors for a very long time. And don't forget, anytime survivors are instantable, you can just keep using Darkness Reveal throughout the game to find them and instant on them. Let me show you some of the fun games I got with this. Hmm. The game is actually a really interesting little trick we can try here at some point. Let's find a locker. Oh no, lockers are hard to come by on the second floor. Okay, come on. Ah! Got it! Yes! Finally! Oh my god. Oh. oh when I did this on stream, it took me like. No time at all, like, just a couple of attempts and we did it, and it was- it happened so often. But today I've actually gone through several matches before we could pull this off. We've still won them, so I still believe in this build's utility. Um, but yeah, dude, I, I was starting to- I was starting to come up with theories of what was happening. Anyway, let me show you the trick I was talking about now. This pallet right here, right? I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna use my power right now. And I'm gonna get her to drop the pallet. Then I'm gonna teleport back. And ta-da! I come back from up there like Batman. Bang! Awesome. Can we teleport there? Oh. <laughs> She's like, no, please. Wait a minute. I see someone's on us. Hold up. Who knows? Maybe we can find this again. Now they're doing a gen over there. Okay, got it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I actually played on the game, uh, one of the previous games, that's how I figured out that trick accidentally. <laughs> uh, you could do something really fun with that drop. You could even use that with make your choice to drop down and somehow into down a rescuer, because there's a hook on that corner. Oh, brilliant, am I gonna find you? Oh yes, I am. What's up, David? Alright, so the Devour Hope at two stacks. I'm gonna hide my remnant here. Keep going. There's no way that worked, and worst... Oh! Wait. 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 Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I hook her next to a totem? Because there were two totems. They did my... Wait, no, my Devour's up. Ah, uh, okay, I think they did... I thought they did my Devour and my Undying. Because they both uh, changed colors at the same time. I was so confused. But no, that's not what happened. The Bower just changes colors on very strange timings that are not always very um, easy to immediately tell. No, David, no, don't do it. They killed themselves. Oh. No. <laughs> no, I was having a decent game. Why, David? 
All right, I'm gonna tell you how to do this. Get her to drop. Now come here. And she's dead. Ugh. All right, so that's all the survivors done. Uh, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll... Larry, you want to drop down real quick? Maybe I'll give them a hajj. I don't know what I'll do. But let's, let's see if we can do one more game. Because <laughs> that was kind of sad. Oh, yo, yo, what you guys doing out there? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to let them all live or something. That's uh, These guys are actually kind of funny. <laughs> All right, so this end us to Macmillan. Mm, it could work. Okay, well, it's still Macmillan, but we'll make do, I guess. All right, let's wait just a little bit. Right now, it should be perfect. Come on, go close it. Come on, I know you want to. Mm, Alright, we were a bit unlucky there. Didn't seem to... Oh, he actually turned me around this tree, well done! He's... Yeah, um, he looked like he was about to... I might have missed an opportunity on someone else by just... Focusing super super hard. Seems like one of them was on a boom totem. Mm. All right In long situations like this very good um, You are better off Yeah, take it take it. Don't worry. You were gonna tell me Where that boon is Michaela, aren't you? Yeah, you're gonna tell me where that boon is No worries I'll come for you So where's that boon, Michaela? Let's find out. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what? Already? No. <gasps> How did that not grab her? I guess I was too fast. Damn, that would have been good. I'm starting to realize it's really hard to grab people, dude. Even if you know, more or less, what is going on. The timing needs to be so precise, it turns out. I wouldn't mind if it was a bit more forgiving, <laughs> but yeah, fair enough. Anyway, I would have dropped that if I were her. There you go. You smash the attack button, and it seems to do it quicker. You don't need to wait for the whole cooldown. Alright. So that's our first devour, ideally. Let's kick this. We have a long night coming up. We're gonna break this one. We're gonna open, and we're gonna get the hell away. Where though? Huh? Oh, heartbeat? Come on, go on closer, dude. He's going for the rescue. Alright, fair enough. I thought he might want to lock this. But sure. We'll take this. Wait, hold up. Whoa. We gave up a gen in that meantime, I guess. Hey, what's up? We'll break this as well, since we're at it. Oh. How come I can see his aura? He walked by a dual totem. Must have been. Yep, that's it. I'm dying. Okay. Oh, Michaela wants to take another protection hit. That's already telling me something. This girl might have... Um, uh, what she has is a severe case of giving that dead heart. No, nope. uh, I thought she might have metal man. Maybe. Anyway, second stack of devour, and I'm not so sure. Oh, <gasps> someone's doing a totem. But why? <clears throat> well, uh, don't teleport. Actually, one of these is locked. You always come out of the locked one, unfortunately. Alright, sure, I'll take it. But 
Uh, if you do dual totems as a survivor, you get one. It gives you the... Um, it gives you the... I could swear I hear the boon. Yeah, it's nearby. It's actually uh, a boon that removes scratch marks as well. I can't listen to it today, apparently. I, I want to teleport back and hit an M1 through a window like that someday. But that girl was too cl too far. He would have not worked. Nice. Well played by her. I think we catch her now, finally, though. And soon enough, they'll need to worry about a certain perk. Nice. Yeah, we still have both of our totems, so... They bless one, they destroy the doll, and we still have both of our hexes. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waste time. <laughs> oh, Meg. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, no, Meg. Oh, no, 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 no. That is not appropriate. Hiya. All right. Don't... F I'm going to get stunned. Let's lock her in. It's very simple. Ah. Uh I guess we could get away with that since it's night time. I was waiting for them that hard there. Alright, good stuff. But uh, do we want to place her somewhere very awkward? Honestly, that hook over there after we break this pallet will be really difficult. Let's not forget that Meg is dead on hook as well. Alright. I'd rather do this than have to break it. We'll break it manually later. Oh, you guys are healing. Oh, Miguel, you want to take a hit for her? You want to do that like the way you've done before? That would be so lovely. All right, the moment I stop seeing her, now. Insta down to lovely. Right, so where's she gonna hang? I'm not sure. They healed! Okay. Not gonna lie, that's a bit unexpected. Let's see if they come out the left side. We have to worry about this totem anyway. Hey, what do you know? They do. Oh, uh, Meg is nearby too. She's dead on hook. No wonder she wanted to drop that. Oh, hello. Bit of a mistake from us, huh? Wait, oh, off the record. Of course, it protects you. <laughs> Even when healthy. Yeah, I should have known. Meg. Meg. She locked one of those. That's a real shame. I'll tell you what we can do, though. Um, what can we do? What can we do? Hmm. She dropped. Uh oh. Well, that's one. Yeah, we still have the other. Okay, night time. Hello. Oh, there you are. Oh, you're warning her. That's so cute. That's so crazy, dude. Alright, I think it's your time to go, Ace. Uh, you've done well enough. So, Meg, dead on hook. Everyone else hooked once, I think. That is a slow Mori, dude. Wow. Alright, let's go. No heartbeat? Wait, actually. I could... Uh, I could swear I heard bones, though. We should hear a heartbeat, though. Nowhere near? Hmm, interesting. They are healing. That I do not understand, but okay. Yeah. I'm I guess nighttime was over. But we should have heard some heartbeat otherwise. Gotcha. My goodness, uh, I come out of this uh, session thinking that, yeah, sure, the, the whole the whole gimmick to catch someone at the start 
it's really really difficult i don't recommend you make a whole build around it but undying and devour are just so good on this killer dude they really uh, unless you fail to get a couple hooks before the end game they really really have to get rid of the totem and this killer is uniquely well equipped oh so here it was this killer is uniquely well equipped to to the fan totems hi lady oh that's cute oh oh you're the inspector of the roof it's in perfect condition ma'am i swear to god we we rebuilt it and refurbished it last year it's looking really good uh does it meet your requirements yes Ah, uh, you were just buying time then. <laughs> well, honestly, dude, <laughs> after the cheater and all the other stuff, I'll, I'll take some Mimi Sue Sure, why not? <laughs> Thank you, Zanny. You're very fun. Um, I guess I'll kill you and give the other person hutch. There you go, Meg. You can have it. Yeah. Well done. GG, well played. You guys were good sports. Oh dear, dude. Oh dear. Uh, yeah. Overall, uh, not exactly what I expected. Uh, last time I tried this strategy, it seemed a lot easier. And uh, it gave me maybe a false sense of of, of security. Uh, even with Corrupt, it really seems difficult. <laughs> GG's. The guy two hours in longer. So my verdict is uh, maybe don't try this just for the grabs, but do try it for the Undying and the Bower. That part was really strong. Mwah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.